Hi, this is Corey at Razor CX. Today we're going to give you uh, the latest demo in our detailer and designer. Today it's going to be the end plate from a beam to a column. So I'm just going to go down to our standard connections here, choose a couple uh, members in our model. Uh, that's going to create a standard end plate based on our uh, predefined standards. Uh, once the uh, connection is created in the model, the designer is going to get triggered. It's going to have a look at the information from the connection, do uh, design up on our servers, send the information back and populate the app. So now you can see that's passed. Down here we have our standard connection details and the file name that it was using for the attributes. Over in the middle we have the inputs. So these are all the you know, primary, secondary member, all the materials, um, the shear forces, which it calculated automatically um, using the UDL and 60% of the shear in this case. And then the rest of the information will be bolts and edge distances, welds, and what have you. Everything coming from the connection, pretty much, and it's also a bit of a default design parameters. So that's there. Uh, once the calculation is completed, we go to the geometry results on the right, and you can see all the everything okay. In this case, it all passed, so everything's okay. And then we got our strength results. So that's everything there. Well, we can see that the bolt shear is actually only you know, 0.38 or something. So based on that connection, we can actually, um, we can now manually edit this. So, but first we're going to show you that we have, um, as that connection was being designed, it's also creating a PDF report. So you can see there's our PDF report. Uh, the same sketch of the connection that you saw in the app it matches the uh, connection in the model exactly. I'm just going to uh, size it up here. So that's what we see on the uh, page one. We have the design inputs, connection details that's passed. That's all the same information that's in the app here. And then on page two, we have our geometry calculation results and our strength calc results. So that's exactly the same thing that's in the app. So just basically a two page report right now, but it shows you the inputs that were used and the results. So we can also, at the same time it's doing that, it's also creating a nice little 3D view of this connection for us too. So by just right clicking over there, we were able to flip the screen and now we have our nice integrated 3D viewer of that connection. And on the right hand side, it's showing the uh, standard parameters that were used and then the attribute file that we, that we also use for that. So everything's right there. And I just right click and come back and I can see those. So you can see that um, we could actually reduce some bolts here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to modify the connection real quick. Go to two rows, hit modify. When we do modify, it automatically triggers the designer. And you can see that the sketch changed to match the model. Uh, it got recalculated. So they're all new values on the results. Everything's still passing. And we have a new report, and you can see that there's a new PDF report that was created. Those values have changed, so in this case, number of rows went to two. And there's our new values. And our, um, yeah, so that's the new report. That's for that one there. And if we right click over, you'll see that we also have the new 3D view for that connection. So a pretty powerful little app. It's pretty much infinitely scalable. We can add all kinds of different standard and non-standard connections. Right now, it's all just using standard Tecla components. So as we build this out with um, default files, we pair it up with our connection design. Um, we're good to go. And you can see this case, we're just using the standard 144 end plate. So keep an eye. We'll be putting up more demos as we have them completed. You can always email Corey at razorcx.com.